I've decided to make a quick jig to be able to tune in the mitres on the trays so I guess maybe I'll put this in a separate video as well so welcome to this uh, jig video I've just got some scraps this is veneered MDF and uh, this is just an off cut of MDF um, which will allow me to just quickly knock it up so we'll set up the table saw run some 45s um, but yeah you'll see how it all comes together so the first thing we have to do is run a 45 along the end uh, cut a 45 along the length of this and then I'll chop that in half and those two pieces will come together I'll show you how they come together in a moment but we'll just set the saw to 45 get it as accurate as I can because it's really critical if that's not 45 then my jig won't plane at 45 at the moment I don't know where my um, gauge it's like a digital gauge you can put on your blade and put on the table saw bed but I don't have it so we're doing it old school way today Pretty damn accurate. Devolt table saw for the win. Now that we've got this, I'll rip this down its length, chop it in half, and then that will be the two pieces for our jig and also the um, clamping part that we need. So far as our bottom piece, we've got our fence piece, and then we've got the um, bottom piece, which you uh, you can use to clamp into your vice. The vice goes upright like so. The bottom piece, which your plane rides on, goes there. Um, we'll screw down into this piece here. And then this sits on that 45 and we'll screw that and glue that in as well. And then what we will have is a block on here which will be at a perfect 90 which your workpiece will um, reference off. So let's get some countersinking done get the glue ready and some screws and we'll put it all together. Okay, I'm just going to transfer those hole lines. I've uh, lined this up to be centre 
I'm just going to gently hold it in place. Tight bond. Fingers are so cold. <laughs> going to mark if I bring you in closer where the screws can come in okay so I just marked up my fence exactly the same way as we did this one um, I got my center mark one thing to note is that I made sure that this line crosses at the meatiest point within reason and not going too close to the edge um, and obviously trying to stay as centre as I can but if you went dead centre you'd only be going through minimal, mater uh, minimal material so I'm trying to get it where it goes a little bit higher and through so We'll countersink these holes. The next step is to attach the fence this is just the off, an off cut and I'm going to line that up just checking Yep. Yep. And then we're flush here too. So I also forgot to mention, um, depending on how long you make your support piece, you can use that to clamp to a workbench or I don't know whatever surfaces you've got in the shop. What you've got to bear in mind then is that your piece of wood will. Um, be restricted to how wide it can be because it's got to avoid these handles whether you could find clamps that maybe you could I don't know make your own chop your handles off or something so it sits underneath um, yeah but it can also sit there I've waxed the surface as well so the plane now will ride really smoothly so I'll just show you how it works so I just got a scrap piece up against my fence, put my hand plane down and then as you can see taking really thin thin shavings and then a really nice clean mitre and then if we take another piece up against the fence until we get the shavings all the way across for more again really nice shavings make sure you've got a sharp plane for this obviously
so you can really fine tune your fit. I wish I'd made this jig sooner to be honest with you. And then if I go in here like this, put my mitre together, ooh, you can see how clean that fit is. Really nice mitre. So yeah, I forgot to mention that yesterday, so I thought I'd um, quickly mention that this morning before I edit this video. Okay, that's the end of the video. Um, it's a quick little jig to do. Whether I change this in the future, um, I'll figure that out as I'm using it. But for this job, when I've tested it, it seems like it's working pretty well. I don't know how long the MDF will hold up, but if I need to you know, make it out of some plywood or even some hardwood, then I will do that in the future. One thing I didn't do was put a dust groove um, in the bottom there, which I should have done. So maybe in the future I will make another one if that starts causing a problem. Or I'll just maybe chisel it out or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below if you've got any other ideas or better ways other shooting boards that might be available i know there's quite a lot online um but yeah leave them down below for everyone else to read through and also for me to read through and hopefully i can pick up a couple of little tips there and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye <coughs>